let me tell you something. The, you see this instrument? It's, it's a very handy thing. It's very cheap to buy. You know, you can get one of these things for a few dollars and you can play all this Irish music on it, you know, that I was playing. And, I mean, it's a handy thing. You can start up your own Irish band, <laughs> you know. Then you can get a fake name, you know, like O'Hulihan or something like that. <laughs> you know what happened? I was in the United States, and uh, they called us up to ask me if I would play the, the theme for the return of the king. But it was one day after I finished working here. So I had to get on a plane, fly there, and just step off the plane and do it. And I thought, no, nah, I ain't going to do that. That's too much hard work. So then I put the phone down. Then I thought, Galway, you've got to be some sort of an idiot. They're going to get somebody else to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Quick as a flash. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> Called him up, went there and did it. I brought my tin whistle to show you, uh, in case somebody asked me about the Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, so what? You know. <laughs> but you know, the, uh, one of the one of the notes was an F sharp, and I said, "Listen, I can't get this F sharp in tune with what's going on in the background." And he said, "Oh, just choose any F sharp. It'll uh, it doesn't matter <laughs> because you know when you when you do these electronic things, you hear all sorts of things going on. You know that it's not just one note; it's a whole." spectrum of different F sharps. Anyway, they gave me a piece. I couldn't, uh, uh, we call it fork fingering, you know, which means you do half the hole or open a little bit. And I couldn't do it accurately every time. So they gave me a, uh, a bit of duct tape and I stuck tape all over this thing. <laughs> and when I left, they gave me a whole roll. <laughs> as a present. I was in a, uh, I think in, I'm trying to remember where it was. I was in a bar, and there was a band playing. And the guy who was leading the band was talking with a real Dublin Irish accent. So I went to say hello to him. I said, where are you from? He said, Cincinnati or somewhere. He, did, he didn't come from Dublin. I said, well, where'd you get this accent? He said, oh, I just put it on for the show. <laughs> so you know, if you, do, if you do buy a tin whistle, you'd have to get an accent like this, you know, and talk all funny like that. Thank <laughs> you.